So could you tell me a bit about the cosmetics that you have mm -hmm. here? Yeah, certainly. Um, what's this? What you Those are safflowers. Um, saffron was used a lot uh, for um, makeup and perfumes, but it's very expensive. It was very, very expensive then, 2,000 years ago, and it's still very expensive now. So I've used a slightly cheaper alternative, safflower, um, which uh, the Egyptians and other peoples used um, to dye their clothing, but you can also crush that uh, to make a nice ready yellowy browny colour, and that can go into makeup. Eyeshadows and powders. Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, could you tell me about um, what you use this for? What the rose petals? Yeah, yeah. Those are used for um, perfumes. You could perfume your bath oil with it, or again, you could crush that um, because you would want to make the soot eyeliner that you use smell more fragrant because soot doesn't smell so good. Um, I can show you how to make a little bit of soot. Oh, yeah. So we've got our lamp here, and I'll just take this bowl and burn onto it. See the soot starting to form there. And you've got some soot there. And I'm going to take my cosmetic grinder, which is a replica of one that was found in Colchester. And you will scrape the soot off of here, like so, and you can just see there's a little bit on there, and that makes a line. Wow. So you can put that onto your eye, but it doesn't smell so good, so you might want to crush some uh, rose petals to go with it, or the safflower, uh, which will make it a bit nicer. And also I've got some chalk here, some nice fine chalk that we've crushed and that can be applied as well. Used as a powder. That's right because white faces were you know very much more attractive. Than much more attractive yes you don't want to look tanned and like you work outside or anything like that you want to look like you live a, an inside life um, and can rich enough to have lots of servants and so you would make sure that your skin was white. Um, I don't have any lead with me, white lead. It's, it's, it's as poisonous now as it was then. Um, they knew it was poisonous, but they uh, carried on using it regardless, you know, much as we do tanning and, you know, surgery and things that we know probably aren't very good for us, but we do them anyway because we want to look good. So <laughs> that was uh, what they did with that. And then if they wanted some blush on top of that, um, they would use um, uh, ochre, uh, but I don't have any of that, so I've just got some red uh, limestone, uh, which we've crushed up, and that makes a good rouge to go on top of your white face. So we've already got some of the colours that you need there. And also we've got some perfume. Things that make perfume, the elements to make perfume, we've got uh, frankincense and myrrh, cinnamon and black peppercorns. Really yeah, they smell nice, don't they? And obviously they'd use the oils of these things to make a perfume. I've made some bath oil. This is a little bath oil container. And I've put some olive oil almond oil and fresh bay leaves and rosemary leaves in there. Do you like to smell that? Yeah. Mm, very spicy. Yeah, that's been soaking for a couple of days now, so it's quite, quite fragrant. And um, they must have realised what some of these um, herbs, that, ha that they had very beneficial effects, because when I was reading up on them, they had micro um, antibacterial, antifungal elements in those um, herbs. So they use them in the bath, that would be very good for them, and they'd use the strigil, put the oil on them, and then use the strigil to scrape the skin and impurities away. 